What's up dudes, this is the Daily Wad Breakdown for Wednesday the 23rd of the 10th, 2019. So on Wednesday we're going to go back to our old friend the Roar and we're going to partner up like we have been for the last couple of weeks during the Open. So you're going to do 2,000 metres, 1,000 metres each. One E is going to be rowing 200, but now the other person is going to be doing a 100 metre jog. So if myself and D were together, then I'm going to do a 200 metre row while I'm rowing my 200 metres. D is going to do like half the length of what we normally do for a 200. Just go half it down, come back in, jogging, just keeping herself warm, come back in. And when I finish, she jumps in the row, I do the same thing. So we're going to do 2,000 metres rowing, 1,000 metres each, but every second one we're going to do a 100 metre jog. Just warming up, I'm going to give you some stretches and we're going to give you some stretches to do as well in between. After that's finished, we'll have a three round general warm up of eight low box jumps, eight TRX rows, eight burpee tuck, tuck jumps, nice simple stuff. A nice bit of mobility on Wednesday as well, right? We're really, really going to try and keep ourselves as healthy as we can in these midweek workouts while we do in between the open workouts on the weekends. So we'll do some box pigeon work, some box down dog work and some partner calf rolling. Lovely, that'll be great fun. So we're gonna do that on Wednesday, guys. The workout on Wednesday is going to be condition based, okay? Be a bit longer, again, now anything that I read out here, remember, it's all adaptable, it's all scalable, so you can cut this down and I'll tell you how later on. The workout's going to go um, where we're going to partner up pretty much in class. Now, you're not, it's not a partner workout per, sway, per se, one is going to start one part and the other person is going to start the other part. It's a one round workout, okay, so you're trying to get through it as quickly as you can, it's for time. The way it will go will be, now the reps are going to sound high, but remember, this can be tapered for everybody. So, just because this sounds really, really difficult, it's not a reason to stay away from class. There's, you can taper this to suit you as much as you want, okay? This is the hardest possible option. Remember that, okay? And I really do mean that. This is the hardest possible option. Uh, for time, 75 calories on the roar for guys, 50 for ladies. A one kilometer run, which basically will be our two 500 meter runs. Then 50 box jump overs and a max height of 24 for guys, 20 for the ladies. Remember, we don't need to stand up tall in that box. We can keep the knees bent. And then another 75 cal, 50 cal row, and then finish up with another 1K run. So that would be, again, the absolute hardest. If you can do it like that, do it like that. That's the way I want you to do it. Go through it. Just get through it, right? It's good conditioning, midweek, no loading on you. You're not going to feel very, very taxed after it from the point of view of on your CNS system because of the weight. And you're going to make yourself leaner, fitter, faster, and looking better. These are the type of workers who are going to do it. So that if that's your goal, you need to be here on Wednesday, okay? If you're not going to come because it's a little bit harder, then you're never going to get to that goal you want. We're losing body fat, losing weight, looking better, looking leaner. These are the type of workouts you need to do. And remember, they can be adapted to suit you. If you need to, we can change the calories on the roar. If it was the ladies, right? You can do 25 calories or 30 calories instead of 50. If a 1K run is too much, do 500 meters instead. Okay, do a 500 meter run. If 50 box jumps are too much, yeah, maybe you do 30 instead. And the same thing would apply on the next row run. You could do half the amount of reps on the row uh, in the calories and a half the, the distance on the run. You are doing more than what you're doing when you're not coming to class. It's important that we get into the mindset of when the workouts are tough like this, that we turn up, that we don't back out and cancel our reservation. Because I can see who's booked in right now. And if you cancel, I know the reason why. I'm only joking, but guys, you know what I mean. If you're, if you're bailing out because of the way the workout is, you're never gonna you're never gonna make that significant progress in your health and fitness that you need to. Okay, remember, if it's gonna get hard, everything can be adapted. We all support each other, we all help each other, and that's vitally important. Wednesday is going to be a little bit tougher on conditioning. No weight, no heavy loads, no hard skills. It's just a good old sweat fest on Wednesday this week. That's Wednesday broken down, dudes. I'll catch you for Thursday. Have a nice uh, evening and uh, catch you on Thursday. Cheers, dudes.